What's up, YouTube? We're doing a quick review on the Philips Wi-Fi LED light bulb. This is the um, alternative to the Philips Hue light bulb. This light bulb was 12 bucks at Home Depot. In comparison to the um, Philips Hue light bulb, which is 50 bucks, this is a great bargain. Um, this is a smart bulb. It is voice you know, app activated. So if you have like Alexa or Google Home, it does work with that. It pairs. It, I don't think it'll pair with the Philips Hue. I haven't tried it yet, but I think that's why they developed a cheaper light for those who don't want to buy the Hue Bridge. All right, so basically when you get your light bulb, it's only going to come with the bulb and there's no instructions inside, but there's some instructions on the side of the box. Um, you do have two um, sources to download the app. It's the um, Apple App Store or your Google Play. So we're going to be using an Android device here. So we're going to go, once you get into your Google Apps, look for Wiz Lighting App. Once you find that app, you want to go ahead and install that. We're going to do an install. Okay. Okay, once your app is downloaded, you're going to go ahead and open it. It's Wiz, the Wiz app. And you got the terms and conditions. Now you have to scroll through because you won't be able to press anything. So you want to just scroll through. Acknowledge. All right, your next screen is going to be create a home, join a home. Since it's our first time, we're going to create a home. You can change the name to whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it as what it is. Okay. Okay, here's where you add your room. So whatever room you want to put your light bulbs in, you have the options. As you can see, there's big selection here. We're just going to go and we're just going to put, let's say, bar. Now, let's say you have a room that's not on the list. You can actually change this, as you can see, to whatever name. Like, let's say you want to put this in hallway or whatever. You can just... Type in hallway. So we're going to keep it as bar. Okay. Now, this is when you add your light bulb. So you want to go ahead and add device. And they have various devices you can add. We're going to be doing the light. So we're going to go with light. You're going to get a, a message pops up asking you or telling you it have to be in the range for the light bulb to pick up the Wi-Fi signal in your home. So you want to have that in range. Okay, that okay. And this is just more device location access. If you want to give it full access or just when the app is being used. I'm going to go with full access right now. All right, so then you get to your Wi-Fi settings. So this is where you put in your Wi-Fi password. They're asking for the 2.4 gigahertz network. It does work on the five gigahertz. So we're gonna go ahead and put in our password here. I'm gonna put in my password. Okay, now once you got your password installed, you want to go with manual pairing. Now you're going to see the 2.4 gigahertz, but it also talks about 5 gigahertz. My router supports both, and make sure with your internet provider, which um, connection you have. You should have both, but if you don't, just find out. So once you have that, you're going to hit manual pairing. So we're going to do this manually. Unlike the Hue, it does it automatically for you, so you have to do this all by yourself. Okay, so the first thing first, you're going to power off the light. So I'm going to be using an actual lamp. Um, if you was like putting this into an actual light up in the ceiling, make sure the light is off. 
So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So you first, you wanna make sure the light is off. And once it's off, you're gonna go ahead and quickly turn on the light three times until you get that blue pulsating light. That's what we're gonna be looking for. So I'm gonna try attempt this the first. I've tried it before and sometimes it take a couple switch on and offs to get it going, let's see. Okay, I got a blue, white, okay. And sometimes it may hit blue, it get different colors. You just wanna get the blue. Okay. So it, it's a blue start. I started out as a blue, then it turned purple. So we're gonna try one more time. All right, we've got a blue. So once you get your blue light, you're gonna go ahead and hit next. And you're gonna wait till it turns purple. You're gonna to have to be a purple pulsating light. This takes about a minute. Okay. Now this is the part, this is the part where you may have to try this more than once before you get this light to connect. Because it's trying to connect to your Wi-Fi router. But once it does, you're gonna know. If it doesn't, we're gonna to have to repeat the step again. So this is blanking, and it have to be purple when it shows you what color. Purple. And when they tell you it takes a minute, <laughs> it, it takes about a minute, depending on if the light is picking up or not. Do not get frustrated if this takes a couple attempts. Okay, I'm getting a purple. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that on your end, but it's purple. So once you get purple, you wanna hit start. Now, they're telling you to go back to your Wi-Fi settings. We're gonna go back to our Wi-Fi settings here. And we're gonna look for the Wiz app to pop up. See that Wiz configuration. Once that pops up, let's click that. See what happens. And it's gonna try to connect. Again, this is very tricky because it happens in and out. All right, it says connected without internet. So once we get that, let's go back to the app. And it's gonna start downloading. It may fail, it has failed on me before, but if it doesn't fail, fine. If it does fail, we have to repeat the process again okay man that's great so it actually went through perfect this time all right so now as you can see the light turns bright a bright color and here's when now you're inside the app once you inside your app you have full range to change the colors we can let's go with fireplace as you can see the light pulsates. We're gonna actually cut the, let me cut the lights off here so we can get a better view. And I'll push the light back some. Okay. And you can go through your app and you can change different modes. That's party mode. And that's, it just strobes through different colors. So, so far, so good. The app works pretty good. Um, there's several features. Christmas. I mean, oh, this one, it popped on the Halloween, but um, there's even one called Plant Growth. So if you want to grow plants, you can do that. Um, so yeah, so far, so good. You can actually pick the color that you want. We can try to... See, I can manipulate the colors here, as you can see. So it's a good deal for the price that I paid for it. It's like a cool blue. And so if you guys, I hope this helped. You can actually set the light 
to like different times, you can cut it off. Cut it on. So you don't have to cut the switch off after you have this installed. You can actually keep your light switch on and you can actually cut it on and off through your um, app. So I can cut it off. As you can see it goes off. And I'm gonna cut it on through the app. So cool. Okay guys, so I hope this helped. Um, once you get inside your app, there's different features. You can, different settings. Like I said, you go through it there. But this is just to get you guys set up. If you have any questions, please send me a message. I'm willing to help you guys get through the setup process. But other than that, it's not that hard. Um, if you want to add multiple lights, you see that little plus sign? You want to add more devices, same process. Go back to lights and you can add multiple lights. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped guys. Thanks for watching.